Hi Frenchy families, this is a video um, of setting up a safe area with a litter box for your puppy in your home. And so it'll be sh this short quick video and then also a series of pictures showing how it's put together from the ground up. So this is a two foot high by two foot wide eight panel X pen, short for exercise pen, and it's all the panels are held together by hinges of a sorts, and you can put it in any configuration that you'd like. So here we have it in one two foot panel in a oblong rectangular form. You can also put it into a corner as a triangle. You can make it square and you can make it octagonal and any which way you do it it's the same square foot area so that's going to be 16 square foot of um, room for your puppy to be in safely at home and you'll see some different components that we have here so within your X pen <clears throat> need to have the basics of course you've got the food and water dishes we prefer uh, ceramic or metal uh, that can be washed in the dishwasher and disinfected. Also you've got safe toys. These are all the time toys that so we don't have to worry about stuffing or any type of squeaker that can be uh, chewed out and then becomes a very bad choking hazard because of the way it's shaped. Once it gets saliva on it it's very slick. So only choose safe toys for all the time toys in there. And then of course we have our litter box, and the litter box is a jumbo size antimicrobial. And we've cut out the front, we've customized it and cut out the front for our puppies. And you only need, uh, oh, anywhere between inch and a half and two inches of litter in here. And this is uh, Animal Bedding Management, ABM. 100% pine made for use with animals and it's sold at farm supplies as stall bedding for horses and other large animals. So there's several different brands of this. You want to check it Wilco, Big R, Coastal, and then uh, those are your chain farm supplies and then all the way down to some of your um, locally held smaller livestock uh, supply stores. So you will not find this product, to my knowledge, in a pet store, whether it be chain or what is generally referred to as a boutique, a neighborhood pet store. Um, so you'll need to find out if you want to use this product um, where you can get it at your livestock supply. And of course we have our newspapers lining the bottom. Okay, that's because accidents do happen. We need to keep everything as clean and tidy as possible like you see on our live puppy cams. We're setting this up for our um, safe area in here in the house the same way. So you may not think you have much space. All I did to set one of these up, but all I did was move some of our plants in the planters. I just readjusted them away from the windows. And then there you go. I've got enough room to set up the puppy safe area and it's in our general living space. The puppy is not um, segregated off to a back bedroom or laundry room. Um, that is a definite no-no. These are pack animals. So you don't want to send them the wrong message that they are not part of the pack. You'll be fighting constantly for bonding with them because you're giving them conflicting signals. So daytime, this is where the puppy needs to be in this puppy safe area with the tarp down to protect your flooring, whether it's carpet, wood, tile. Even if you have tile, you have absorbent grout in between that tile and you want to save your floors so that there's not scent for the puppy to go back later and remark. Okay. Um, there's also an excellent product that we use on our carpet. We do have 11 chihuahuas in the house here with us and that product is SCO 10X, S-C-O-E, 10x the letter x 
and you can Google that and look it up and you'll read the amazing reviews on it and I'll tell you they do it for smell is what the product was uh, developed for but I can tell you that it is the best stain lifter for any organic debris we have ever found and that's over 16 years of trying different products so I definitely recommend the SCO 10X both for um, carpets and uh, fabric and um, clothing it's just amazing for the smell and the stain even though it's not listed as a stain uh, lifter so here we go uh, this is the end of this video if you have any questions please email us give us a call we're happy to expand upon what the video covers um, but this is what you all need to have set up uh, very similar to this um, about a week to a week and a half before the puppy's going to come home with you so that you get used to living around the changes in your environment and your energy is settled by the time the puppy comes. Um, the other thing I want you to see if you're ordering one of these is that we recommend the kind that have the gate. Um, I'm short but I still felt like it's only two foot high I should be able to step over and in the pen and that opinion quickly changed and I started using the gate after twice uh, I hooked my toe stepping over and face planted was not fun don't want to do it again so that gives you a nice gate to open especially if you'd like to leave that open while you're playing with the puppy in the living room or anything like that then the puppy just like an open crate door the puppy has the ability to um, get in there food water litter box chew toys that's if you have a single puppy um, don't know how that would work in a multiple dog household actually so it that's dependent upon um, kind of how your individual household is made up pack wise so you'll also notice on these that they are connected all these panels where the open ends come together are connected by these little clips these come with them they actually come with um, stakes like you would use uh, camping let's say um, to use these anodized pens outdoors um, they're very versatile you won't be sorry you ever invest in one of these because this all folds up into a two by two by maybe three and a half four inch thick um, little suitcase package that can go in the trunk very easily when you're traveling when you're camping when you're visiting friends and family and you want to keep your puppy or your dog safe this is a great way the other way you can use this with the clippies is like the pictures on this page show you you can also incorporate in a larger area you can incorporate a wire um, similarly anodized uh, wire crate with a cover or a blanket or sheet or something over it as a den and this is where you would attach it you would open that door fix it back securely and then you can attach either side of the X pen to the sides of the crate and then they have all this lovely area in here to play and potty and all of that and then their sleeping area is their crate and that's a very very kind of soft way to train uh, for crate training to where they feel like their crate is their bed and their safe area and their calm place and uh, it's very very good for them that way if you can do that and then at night you would just unhook, unhook your wire crate and then that will go in your bedroom and sit by your bed uh, for nighttime sleeping unless you wanted to set a similar area like this up in your bedroom as well so lots of people have done it lots of different ways um, this equipment is really versatile and it's what we've recommended for 16 years and it works the other thing I haven't explained is this um, heat lamp this you can go to your hardware store and this is usually in the electrical uh, section in your Home Depot or Lowe's and it's just a clip on lamp and you can put a variety of bulbs in here and what we have in here is a 150 watt reptile lamp and that's going to be just right to 
keep the puppy warm. You notice I don't have it mounted directly over the top of the puppy's bed and that's because you can dehydrate very easily and it becomes very uncomfortable for the puppy if it's too warm. So if you like to run your household temperatures cooler uh, and you are going to have a new puppy come in the house that's used to our warm nursery then you may want to think about doing that and uh, you can see how I've got the cord plugged in over here and I've run it behind the tarp so that the puppy does not have access to it and I also tied it off at the top here so that I can make sure it doesn't flop in or get drug in and then also you want to make sure that you leave a gap if you're going to do this against a wall you're going to leave a gap so that that little puppy with time and energy and boredom on his hands does not is not able to reach through there with their little muzzle and get any teeth on your wall board they will eat holes in your walls um, they will eat baseboard if you just simply gate them off into a kitchen or a bathroom they'll eat your cabinetry um, they're chewing machines because they're teething and again they've got time on their hands when you're not paying attention to them even with their toys they're going to end up um, with a chewing obsession and you have to work with that so check on our training page where we talk about chew toys appropriate chew toys chew toy training all that good stuff and you'll be able to get a little deeper into that than I'm going to get into in this video um, but it is very very important um, so here you go I hope you enjoyed the video and please let us know if you have any questions uh, we're happy to help have a great day